is Danny and welcome to this updated video this morning. I hope that you guys are doing well. Now we're looking at the infrared satellite and there we can see a lot of shower and thunderstorm activity out in the open waters of the Atlantic. Not affecting anyone right now, but that is all in association with a trough. So with these areas of low pressure, sometimes we see all of this activity taking place. And then as we head further to the west, going towards parts of the Gulf of Mexico and the US, we can see all of that activity associated with a frontal system which is making its way down. So this is going to be moving into the Caribbean and bringing impacts to some areas. It's already bringing some impacts. Let's zoom in and here we can see all of this thunderstorm activity across parts of western Cuba. So those white dots indicate lightning strikes and even over into the Yucatan as well over in parts of Mexico we can see some of those white dots. So it is certainly bringing its impacts already and is likely to enhance a lot more rainfall across some of these areas as we head through today. But looking elsewhere we can see some of those cloud clusters near Jamaica. For some of us it is overcast this morning. Maybe you've with some showers moving through and down in portions of central uh, southern central America we can see some activity there as well. Uh, also in uh, Venezuela Maracaibo, which is always active. It is the place with the most landing strikes on Earth, Lake Maracaibo. And then as we head over into our, the eastern islands, though, it is a contrast because much is not happening this morning, but there is still some of that Saharan dust, which has been impacting some of the southeastern islands. Now, let's go ahead and look at the rainfall forecast for today. This is what Euro has to show, and this goes out into the very early morning hours of tomorrow. Now, we can see that this map gets it's pretty colorful across some areas. We see some of these darker shades of red and even these purples and pinks popping up. So going toward Florida as well as the northwestern Bahamas, Cuba, and over in parts of Central America and South America as well, we can see that it is very colorful. So with that front within the area, there is going to be more rainfall today across parts of Mexico. But with an extension of this map here to include more of Mexico, it's really near the Bay of Campeche area and uh, the surrounding states that will be receiving the most rainfall today because the bulk of the country is going to be remaining dry as there is no major weather system to be induced in a lot of heavy rain there. But then other areas that will be experiencing that substantial rainfall include Belize Belize, the Keys as well, the Bay Islands of Honduras, parts of Honduras, Guatemala, uh, sections of northern Nicaragua, not everywhere will be receiving rainfall today, and also sections of Costa Rica and Panama going into northern South America, especially Colombia, parts of Venezuela, and the Cayennes as well. So those areas, uh, some places within those areas may receive some substantial rainfall, and there may even be some periods of flooding as a result of uh, the accumulation of that water. Now, as we look toward the Caribbean islands, Trinidad, Tobago, going through the Lesser Antilles, Puerto Rico, the Virgin Islands, the Southern Bahamas, and Turks and Caicos Islands, much of Hispaniola going toward the ABC Islands, and even over to the west, the islands of San Andres and Providencia, we're not seeing where there is much shaded. So it is unlikely that there will be any substantial rainfall across those areas today, especially the northeastern Caribbean islands. So it's likely to be a pretty sunny day. Also tranquil in terms of the winds. We'll be looking at that uh, in a moment. So at the most, there may be some stray showers moving through. And as we head toward Jamaica, the Cayman Islands, there could be some showers, potentially some, he uh, some heavy downpours across some areas at times as the day goes on. Now, in terms of the winds, this is actually the forecast for very early tomorrow morning. So around midnight tonight, thereabouts, we can see that winds are going to be kicking up in the Gulf of Mexico and also uh, near the Bahamas and the northwestern Caribbean. So as that front makes its way through, that is going to be resulting in an increase in those wind speeds, those uh, winds coming mostly from the north. And also with that, the waves are going to get quite rough out there. But we can see that for the bulk of the Caribbean islands, though, it is going to be tranquil around 5 to 10 knots at the maximum in terms of these wind speeds. Winds gusting a little bit stronger offshore of Colombia as expected, but for most of the Caribbean islands, it is likely to be a pretty tranquil day. But again, that heavy rainfall expected for parts of the Western Caribbean, Cuba, going towards Central America, 
and uh, even areas such as the northwest bahamas and florida so please be mindful of that guys as you head through today now as we head toward late on saturday we can see here that uh, this is the surface chart forecast there's that area of high pressure that is going to be setting in as the front passes and at this point it is expected to be a stationary front there we can see that uh, symbol with the triangle and the semicircle and that is representing a stationary front when they are on opposite sides of the line near cuba going toward honduras which means that it's going to be stalling but the rest of it is going to remain a cold front and with this there is going to be that increased chance of rainfall for some areas as the week goes on and eventually as the front passes and those winds pick up there is also going to be that temperature dip across portions of the northern caribbean as i've been talking about for some time now so i'll be keeping you guys posted in terms of that and that is pretty much what i wanted to share with you in this update video so the front is there it is already induced in some periods of some thunderstorms some heavy rainfall which may trigger flooding today and also it is going to be continuing its journey and eventually with the passage of it there's going to be those cooler temperatures setting in along with those rougher seas and those stronger wins so i'll be keeping you posted as per usual guys and that is pretty much it for right now and i hope you found this video to be quite informative but if you have any questions please leave them in the comments i'll respond to you when i can and remember to always be weather wise